Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with Google. Today, I'm excited to try this uh, breakfast cereal stout from Goa Brewing Company. Um, I have tried this earlier and I really loved it. And I uh, really want to try this one and see if uh, I have that same feeling again. So, let's try this. So, it's time to try this uh, breakfast cereal stout. Uh, while the head of this settles, uh, let's just uh, see what we can figure out from the bottle itself. Um, so the 6.5% alcohol. Uh, so it's definitely amped it up. It also says bigger and bolder. So I'm guessing the one I had was bigger and bolder. So I'm going to try a new variant of the breakfast cereal stout in a sense. So that's good. Oh, this is a uh, made in combination with uh, Sleepy Owl hazelnut coffee. So I'm guessing uh, there will be some hazelnut uh, notes in there for sure. And uh, this is like a double milk stout. So you know, one of the things I really liked about this one is that uh, you know, instead of using the usual sort of uh, wheat uh, as a base, uh, this particular beer actually uses. Uh, a combination of uh, you know things that we have for our breakfast uh, you know especially if you're in the 90s or 2000s so the base for this is basically made with uh, puffed rice uh, oat mills and uh, even like normal cornflakes so you know that in itself uh, makes this something of a specialty <laughs> uh, in the world of beer so I'm very excited to try this new improved version uh, made with CPO, which I had no clue about actually. So let's uh, pour in a little more and uh, give it a taste. This also has a nice sort of uh, hint of sort of cocoa that just covers everything on the beer uh, and it just makes it uh, even more beautiful I think. Yeah, I can definitely see myself uh, having this. Uh, you know, generally they say that uh, you should have stouts in the winter uh, because, you know, it has a, like a fuller body and uh, it can sort of give you some sort of protection against the cold. But uh, I think uh, you can also have this during the summer because, you know, I mean, just look at that gorgeous head and uh, the whole combination of having coffee along with beer, it's, uh, I think it's really cool. Um, so. I would definitely you know, have this any time of the year, not that really we keep it confined to the winter months. And uh, and yeah, I think the, even the packaging and everything is quite on point, so no complaints there. This one is definitely a winner. It's not going to replace your breakfast and uh, I mean, don't <laughs> try and have this as your breakfast like the English did maybe like 200 years ago. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, definitely have this uh, anytime during the day and uh, even during the night. I'm sure uh, it's going to keep you happy <laughs> and uh, make you try something that uh, you probably wouldn't uh, in any other circumstance. You know, like, uh, unless you are trying uh, some sort of craft beer and uh, especially if you are into stouts, then uh, it's something that you have to have to try. As a beer that uh, tries to sort of push the limits uh, in more ways than one I think I'm going to give this uh, an 8 out of 10 um, it's a really nice sort of balanced uh, beer and although it has these sort of experimental grains that it's used as a base uh, 
and uh, the coffee as well you know you just that you get right from the first sip itself and that gorgeous head and everything out I, I mean it's this is amazing beer actually and yeah so i think 8 out of 10 it's very exciting as you next time in another episode of beer reviews with burger stay safe stay home